premature. Mm-hmm. That is something that I hear a lot of guys have issues with. So I know you've talked a lot about for that. Do you think it's an issue that more men than you may think struggle with? Yeah, totally. Well, the research says that one in three men at least will deal with it at some point in their lifetime. And that could be underreported, right? Because it's an issue that people experience shame around, right? And it's not something that they want to talk about. They want to talk about. And, we, you know, when it comes to your dysfunction, we have pills for that, right? And so there's money to be made on dysfunction. But premature, you know, they sell numbing sprays, which I am vehemently against these numbing sprays Mm -hmm. just because it's a band-aid solution right like okay so it works this time but like what about next time right yeah uh and that's if it works this time but the reason that i got into premature is i made this video that went viral on youtube about right and so thousands of men started coming to me who wanted help with premature the reason they were interested in is because they thought it was like going to help them to provide something that that would like shock and astonish and make them a very memorable and like make them a, a, a you know the best lover she's ever had even if they couldn't last long enough to please her through mm-hmm. and so i came from this world of research to all of a sudden being like launched into premature and because i'm a researcher by nature i didn't like you know i hit the books and i saw like what's the current you know how do how do people treat this therapy and I just was like this is very uninspiring this feels like old and antiquated and kind of like dusty Mm -hmm. and so I started experimenting with my clients and giving like one this kind of assignment or that kind of assignment and tweaking the way that they were tweaking the the way that they were breathing or giving them different pelvic floor exercise routines and just kind of like throwing everything at the wall to see what stuck and over the course of five years I came up with a method which I call my when you want method and it combines the body the emotions the mental game uh even spirituality even the relationship itself to have like a holistic perspective because premature ultimately is really caused by tension and anxiety right the pressure to perform Mm -hmm. which you could talk about you know again people comparing to their life right and thinking that they need to be able to perform in this way gets them stuck in their head increases the amount of tension and anxiety that they feel in their body and is the pleasurable release of tension. So when you come into sex and you're already super tense, you're like already that much closer to right? And then men really, you know, to, to come back to the way that we, a lot of men grow up as quickly as possible, right? Because they're afraid that they're going right. to get walked in on, right? Like mom's going to come into the bathroom yeah. or I'm going to get caught watching my, you know, phone or computer for the younger generation. Older guys uh, didn't have that privilege. But we train ourselves, right? The way that we have, with ourself is the way that we're going to have with a partner. And so when you train yourself to as quickly as possible when you're alone, you're going to bring that into the bedroom with you. And unfortunately, there's so much shame and stigma around this. A lot of guys just avoid having all together or they come up with these sort of like stopgap measures where they're like, well, I'll just be able to go two or three times in a night. Well, that might work while you're in your 20s or even your 30s for a little bit. But there's going to be a point in which you just, your refractory period is too much that you can't just go multiple rounds in a night. So and also, like, sometimes the girl doesn't want multiple times in a night. I never, like, yeah, no, yeah, we so want like, one and I'm done. Like, yeah. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Like, well, and we can talk about delayed, which is on the other side, which is also on the rise, right? Which is guys that can't reach. Yeah. And I'm seeing more and more men. I, mean, I think the numbers on this are really underreported because mm-hmm. I think it's like one in 10 or two in 10 men deal with delayed. But that is on the rise too. And again, it also, I think, is because of the way that people. So, again, coming back to, I think a lot of guys like kind of desensitize themselves because mm-hmm. maybe they watch for like four or five hours and they edge the whole time. And they're, again, they're like kind of training their body not to reach. And then when they're with a partner, they're taking that into the bedroom as well. Mm-hmm. Or they're just kind of desensitized because mm-hmm. like being with one woman, like in your, the quiet of your own home, yeah. can be kind of boring. Who wants? wants that right and you know like <laughs> but seriously i i, I fi- like i'm finding that a lot also in my own like personal life it's just like i'm i'm finding that like all the men that i'm talking to like friends and lovers are like yeah i just can't reach more yeah with a partner yeah interesting yeah interesting so so but you find that a lot of your work right now resides in premature that's kind of the number one thing that my YouTube channel and my work has really been tackling. And mm-hmm. then and then I kind of took that method and brought that into um, dysfunction and delayed regulation later. Right. But yeah. PE is still my kind of calling card. Right. Have you ever thought about why nature has, I guess, programmed men to get quickly and be ready to go right away and women take like 20 minutes? 
You know, I think like that just feels yeah. really unfair and like against Darwinism. Well, and why know. it programmed <laughs> men to too soon and too frequently. Yeah. Right? Like, because we talked about how frequently premature impacts men. Yeah. And it's not because evolutionarily, who was more likely to pass on their seed? It was the guy who was really fast. Yeah. You know, the, who's like, as soon as he started having sex, he was in and out, right? Like yeah. that, that, that actually benefited you. So you were more likely to pass those, those okay. genetics that on. That makes sense. Um, yeah, all of all of my answers for that come back to like a really spiritual bend. Like I think that this is just this kind of cool. I think it's like access to to the oneness, right? Mm-hmm. Like this has really come for me recently because again, I came from research. So then I'm today I'm like a coach and I am very like woo woo about it. Yeah. But again, it's like I, I I it took me a long time to get here. But I think that actually is kind of designed to connect us to something bigger than ourselves. I think that's why when you have really great things and really great you just kind of feel like you you lose yourself in it for the moment and you you take part in or like taste something that's like way bigger and beyond you and i think women's bodies are just programmed to be able to do that and men's bodies evolved to just mate essentially mm-hmm. i mean and this is in every species but in the human species as well because we reproduce men are a little more expendable right like uh, just on a biological level we don't men women need to exist so that we can continue the species but you can have the same man reproduce with multiple women like the 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 reality of the situation is that it's very costly to produce male offsprings because they don't procreate for the species Mm. and so i think that our bodies just have evolved super differently because of the needs that we provide because of the the role that we have in human evolution and in um, continuing the species. So, and that's why they say that if a woman during she's more likely to get pregnant. Yeah, totally. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. We were designed for pleasure at the end of the day, all of us really. Yeah. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.